What's going on guys? West Coast Florida Fishing here, back with another fishing video. Today we're going to be fishing with Heiko Winkler from South Florida Fishing Channel. We're going to be going out to the reef's edge and deep dropping for hopefully keeper mutton snapper. We do get a bite and we also catch a uh, trigger fish that we end up taking home and doing a catch and cook on. So make sure you stay tuned for that part. Alright guys, enjoy the video and I'll see you at the catch and cook. Oh boy, oh boy. What a freaking day, what a day. I guess we'll start by putting some chum out. And hopefully the valley here will show up. Something already showed up. File fish. Yeah, look at all them file fish. Here. That was fast. That was really fast. This is spot. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Let's get um, footage well. That's the culprit that keeps eating our chum. Apparently, you can eat them. Really? That's what I heard. I'd never. Yeah, he'll, he'll get to go free. Into the perfect storm we go! Woo! Oh jeez! <laughs> God damn! Wow. Yeah, definitely. And I swear, if this bird doesn't get out of here, I... <laughs> Didn't bring my gun. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah! Oh, it, you're... Get it? Fish on? Fish on! Fish on! Fish on! <laughs> Heck yeah, let me find the... We got the net. Woo! Looking good! Might be edible! Hopefully. Once the weight comes up here, I'll clip it off real quick. Alrighty. Or I'll, I'll try real quick. Sometimes I'm real quick, sometimes I'm like uh, <laughs> no worries. grandma baking cookies. That's okay. Cookies are always good. <laughs> always, always. This, this bird. You know, I, I give him some credit for being a trooper. Yeah. But. Alright, ready? Alright, keep really no, don't let any slack on this sucker. Alright. Oh. Come on! Alright, real, real, real. Is that a trigger fish? It's a giant trigger fish. Oh, big trigger fish. Big trigger. Big trigger fish. Ayo! Fish on the boat. All right, first fish on the boat, so it's all uphill from here. Now it's not getting, oh, yep, there we go, that was a hit. Nice fish. Oh, nice fish. on? I thought, I thought there was What is that? Kingfish? No. It's a barracuda. Barracuda. You know what barracuda strips? Best deep drop bait ever. Really? You want to grab that little gaff? Yep. Yeah. See a barracuda? 
mosquito strips, we're gonna catch some freaking big yellow tail. This freaking gap right Yeah, right through the eyeball. <laughs> oh yeah. Perfect. After missing four or five gaff shots. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll edit it so you only see the first shot. All right, <laughs> sounds good. <laughs> Yep. There we go. Get there it, we go. There we go. Maybe like slowly real. Oh yeah, he's on. <laughs> yep, just keep reeling nicely because of that weight on there, so you don't really have to pump it. Alright. Or else the weight starts to bounce everywhere. Nice! I'm <laughs> Look at the fish. We needed that. Yeah, we did. It's always impressive when someone throws up and then catches a fish. <laughs> you think? Well, some people, when after they throw up, they're down for the count. They curl up in a ball and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not me. Like I said, I feel better after I throw up. It's a shark. Oh, it's a shark? Yep. Oh. Yeah. I was so excited. Calm down, buddy. Calm down. No need to panic. He almost got me right Yeah, there. he did. Cute little guy. All right. It's a dog parade in here right now. What's up guys? Now we are in the cook part of the catch and cook and we are going to be cooking up that trigger fish right now. At first, obviously what you wanna to do to your fillets is dry them out on the uh, paper towel just like I had shown in the previous video. You just pat them dry. You want them to be just pat dry like I said. And um, we're gonna to get to seasoning it right now. All right guys, so now we are seasoning our fish. We're going to be using just about the same stuff as we did last time with the uh, triple tail. So we're going to be using garlic, we're going to be using salt, we're going to be using some seafood magic, and we have our butter and we have our olive oil so that we don't burn the butter in the pan. All right, so first we're going to very lightly uh, salt and garlic powder the fish. So I'm going to take a little bit in my hand here and just sprinkle it over. All right. We're gonna take our garlic powder and sprinkle that stuff on there. All right. I'm gonna take our seafood magic Stuff is great. If you haven't bought it yet, go buy it. So you take your seafood magic and just... Remember, we're not doing too much because we still want to taste the fish. But this is just um, going to help us mild down all those um, quote-unquote fishy tastes. Alright, so that looks good for that side. So now, all we got to do is do the other side. I'm sure there's garlic powder in that seafood and magic stuff, but who doesn't love garlic? All right, now we are ready to get the pan hot and boiling. All right, we got the pan heating up. Can put a little bit of oil in there. Just enough to cover the bottom. That should be plenty. Taking a swoosh around here. All right, that ought to be perfect. Set that back down, let it keep heating up. 
All right, it's getting warm, so we're going to take our fork now and get some butter. For three fish, one forkful. You might do a second forkful here. All right. Yeah, we're gonna get one more. Another good forkful. Bam. It smells good already. I'm just going to eat this. Alright, thanks for watching Catch and Cook. No, I'm just kidding. Alright, so we're going to turn this down a little bit. We don't want anything getting too hot and popping like it just did. All right, excuse the noise uh, in the backyard. Someone's running their lawn behind me, so that's on the other street. Can't do much about that. All right, set the oil back up. Still kind of hot. I'm gonna turn that down. So like I said, we don't really need it super duper hot. Just hot enough to start cooking the food. All right, let's go ahead and lay our fish in there. We have both sides done well. There's one. Here's the second. And we got all three in there. All right, now let that cook on each side for just about three to four minutes because it's a bigger fish. And uh, then when it's all done, we will check it soon. You can see it really cooking and bubbling in that butter and oil. It's gonna be perfect. It's gonna come out so good. If you guys can smell it, oh my goodness, it smells so good already. All right, I'll be right back as soon as it's done. All right, guys, while that is cooking, we're going to be preparing the plate. The best way to prepare a plate while you have fish cooking in oil and butter is to put some paper towel down. What this does is it'll soak up all that extra that extra grease that no one even needs. So as soon as that's done, we'll just lay them all right there and paper towel should suck all that stuff up. All right, it looks almost cooked all the way through. So what we're gonna do is we're going to flip all those over. All right, so get your fancy dancy scooper. Hold the pan, of course, duh. And yeah, oh yeah. That looks so good. Guys, if you were smelling what I was smelling right now. <laughs> My mouth is watering so bad. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Put it back. You guys didn't see anything. Alright, the fish is looking almost done, so I'm going to be checking it with a fork here. Oh my gosh. So close. It's almost done. Wow, that part's done. This part's not quite. Wow. Oh my goodness. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to give it another minute and a half. And we're going to pull it out the pan. That would be a total of seven minutes in the pan, in case you guys were wondering. All right, guys, it's all done, so we're going to pull it out of the boiling hot pan right now. So get on this side of it. Juicy.
All right, guys, first thing um, I want you guys to know is that there is no fishy smell at all coming from this. And as you can see, like, you stick a fork into it and it just tears right away. So I'm going to stop talking and... Hmm. Hmm. It's kind of a, a tougher meat, but wow, that is really, really good. Mmm. 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 Wow. So, let me try to explain to you what I'm tasting. So, right now I'm tasting no fish at all. It's, um, it kind of is a little different in its texture, not because it's mushy. It's very actually firm. And what it does is it splits. It splits apart from itself, basically. Just kind of like this, as like fingerlings. Which can be a little mm, awkward at first to taste. But after you really start tasting all the flavors it has, it's really good and it's really good to eat. Um, can't really say much. There's not really a lot of fish to compare this to. As you can see, I just pulled up one strip. So it's kind of... It's a little different, but if you can get past the texture, which I think most of you guys can, it's a really good tasting fish. Mm. Yeah, that's so good. You know, but don't take my word for it. I got someone. Hold on. All right, we got my brother here, Joel, and um, he's going to be trying this trigger fish that's right in front of me. How's it smell? It smells really what can you smell? Can you smell a lot of. Um, Does it smell things? fishy? No, not really. So it doesn't smell fishy at all, right? No. Cool. All right. You ready? Yeah. You want to talk a little bit more about it or no? Uh. I put some seafood magic in there. I got some garlic and salt, and that's pretty much the only thing I use. That and butter. You ready to go? Yeah, sure. All right. Let's see. How's that piece look? Pretty good. All right, here you go. Yeah. How's it taste? Mm. It's kind of firm, right? Yeah. You weren't expecting that? No, it's a lot. Um, you want some more? A lot, yeah, I do. Good. It's a lot what? It's a lot more, like, big. Like, it feels dense. Yeah, it's thicker. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Just stab it real hard. There you <laughs> go. As you can tell, it's a thicker kind of fish, and that's really good for, um, you know what? Taco time. Alright guys, please excuse my awkwardness in the next few minutes. I'm going to try to work around the camera here so I don't knock it over. But all we have here is a simple taco recipe. We have your tortilla shell. We have Mexican cheese, Cheddar Jack style. We have some sour cream, and we have some salsa. No lettuce or spinach for us today. Big sad, but we'll make what we got work. All right, so the first things first, obviously, we're gonna take this out of the package and stick that on our little paper plate here. Bam, bam, all right. So we're gonna take our sour cream, slap some of this bad juice stuff on here. Bam, bam, bam. Oh. All right. Now, obviously, the cheese. Cheese on the bottom and on top. Some cheese in there. Yeah, cheese. All right. So, cheese is done. Sour cream done. Tortilla on the plate. The fish. The fish. Duh. Okay. So, um, let's see. For that big, we're just going to plop bam paper towel clean hand all right now I got our hot thick and chunky salsa oh yeah let's put some of that let's put some of that stuff on there oh yeah this is gonna be so good 
All right. More cheese. All right. I think that is a good looking taco. Alright guys, I am kind of squatting so I can uh, be face to face with this camera here, but this taco looks good. I know it's missing some greens, but we didn't have any yet, and we didn't have any this time, so let's go ahead and wrap this sucker up, just like so. Oh yeah. Shout out to my man Jugus for giving these tortilla shells to me. Alright. Best way is just, you know. Mmm. 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 Oh, wow. Uh huh. Yeah. I mean, you can see how good that looks. Mmm. Wow. Mm, some greens would have been perfect, but this is so good. Mm. Mm. Alright guys, I'm going to finish eating this. Stay with me. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this extremely long video. I know a lot of you were probably excruciatingly bored during all the fishing, but I'm glad you stuck around for the catch and cook portion of this. I love saying portion, don't I? Hunter, come. Hunter, come. Sit. Easy. Good boy, Griffin. Ooh. Easy, easy. Ow. You boys like it? I'm a good cook, huh? Call me Chef Isaac. So you do this like all the time? That's it. Do what? This camera thing? Yep. Crazy. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you did like the video, please hit that like button. It really helps me out and really lets me know if you enjoyed watching it. If you're not subscribed already, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button. And I will hope to see you guys in the next episode coming really soon. I got a lot of stuff coming up right now. I'm not even in Florida, so all I can do is really edit. Can't fish. I'm in New York. Anyways, see you guys in the next episode.